Hello and welcome back to the Rillo Revolution. So we um well we need to do something else. We're basically we're trying to wait for this claim. But I want something else on the go while we wait for it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a faction against our liege. I've looked at the strength. So our liege currently only has about 2.35 strength for his entire army. He does have some packs, he has some non-aggression packs of a whole bunch of people. No alliances. So this is great. This is a great situation for us to potentially do something against them. Now, we only have about, what, 1,000 troops, but we can maybe bu uh, boost that up with our Master of Arms, which will train troops that should give us maybe uh, like 1.3, I would reckon, after all the modifiers go through. Um, this means that basically we can, uh, with maybe a mercenary company and an extra ally in the faction, we could maybe beat our liege. Then he's not got... He's got about 2.6 for his um, the, like his holdings. I think we could do it. I think we could definitely take over our liege if we were just a little bit, like, just a tiny bit stronger than we currently are. Also, if we get um, a powerful enough faction, we could just get him to surrender. So, the faction I want to do is overthrow the monarchy of Cape Wrath. I was looking at Depose, but Depose isn't going to work for what we want. Because if we Depose, all it does is put his brother in charge, and we don't really... We don't, we don't really care about that because, well, what's going to happen? Um, his brother, yes, has slightly less martial. Actually, not even that much less. It's it's not going to be any better for us. And, like, there's enough estimates that this isn't going to... It's not going to lead to anything. So, what we want to do is run a faction, overthrow a monarchy that puts us in charge of Cape Wrath, which means that we can then start pushing forward from there. We do become a republic, which is a little bit awkward, but... A republic's all right for us. We're um, we're in a very good position to be a republic because we have a lot of Rillor followers who would likely become houses underneath us. We are kind of a business person. It kind of makes sense all around. So, overthrow the monarchy of Cape Wrath. We currently have 63.4%. Now, all we need to do is get some favors and we're laughing. So we're just gonna leave it there for just now. See if anyone joins. If nobody joins, that's fine, but we're going to leave it there and see what happens. Lord Bryden Blackfish has usurped the High Lordship of Giant's Lance from Lord Lionel of Heart's Home. So, he, um, Bryden Blackfish has taken um, Heart's Home from um, Lionel Corbury, who was a Rillor follower. I don't think that he was a custom courtier. Um, yeah, I'm almost certain he wasn't, actually. Um, we did have a Corbury. I just want to have a look. Um, who's his wife? Megan of Heart of Soul. I'm just seeing whether he may be married into someone. No. Um, Karma Corbray is currently his regent. And he is... Yeah, and he's the Relore follower. He must have converted him, I guess? Huh. But now Brian Blackfish holds Giant's Land. So that's quite a bit of land that Brian Blackfish has got for himself. Okay. Or is... Um, is Brian the way you say that? Or is it Brendan Black... I don't know. Um, I actually want to go double check that. That, that would be like Brendan Blackfish. I don't know. I'm sure I said that wrong before when I was talking about someone else. So I just popped up in my head. I uh, don't care about all those imprisonments, but that's fine. Um, my Lord, I, Roland Bolton, request to take the right... Uh, I request the right to take the black and guard the realms of men as a sworn brother of the Night's Watch. Okay. Um, well, he is a bastard. It seems like a path that he could easily take. Um... Yeah, but I suspect I'm just remembering back to the backstory that the person who made him would say no. And I'm going to try and do more of that in the future, but we'll see. It doesn't really matter to us personally. A group of craftsmen has come to your court and shown off their work. They present you with fine goods, of which you're sure there would be demand for in this realm. Noticing your interest, the craftsmen ask for some capital to start up a workshop, saying they lack the funds to do so on their own. This could potentially give us a lot of funds, so sure... Sound investment. Let's see what happens. Um, Vorian Dane has become Master of Arms. Oh, wait. Uh, no, that wasn't the death I heard. Quentin of Dorne died. Ah, so who is in charge of Dorne now? Dorne is now under Tristane. Sorry about that. Hit my mic slightly there, so everything's back where it should be. Um, his heir would actually be Oberyn currently, which is very interesting. So it goes Oberyn, Chancel, Ginello. Byron Morelio Quaria. Okay. 
I kind of need to go into here to see this, I, I suspect. So it goes Oberyn. Um, then uh, it goes Tansel. Is that someone underneath the Oberyn? Um, oh, it goes Tansel. Uh, right. Was Trevor the next one or? No. Trevor was ne not the next one. So it goes Tansel, Jeleno. So is that. No. No. Jeleno. Albert Bly? Or it could be this Tanzel. Yeah, it could also be that Tanzel. Um, I suspect it wasn't. So it's this Tanzel. Then does it like loop out? Like, does it loop out here? No. Um, Eleli Elia. Trying not to say it correctly. Um, I have no idea who uh, that next one is. Oh, Rogar. Rogar. Is this House Fowler? House Bloodcat. Um, I don't see any House Rogar anywhere. Huh. Okay. Maybe it's out even further. Uh, that's House Dusk. Yeah, I have no idea where it goes after that. It kind of just goes a bit wild. Because it goes... Yeah, weird. I have no idea where it goes. I can't actually follow that. But we'll see. We'll see. It could be interesting. Lord Brighton Blackfish refused the revocation of the High Lordship of Giant's Lance requested by Lord Paramount Rotgar of the Vale. Ah, so it changed from... Oh yeah, that'll be why the Corbray switched. It's because his liege is a Relor follower. Makes sense. Okay. So what happened is Brighton Blackfish took the land back. He is, of course, Faith of Seven. Rotgar tried to take the land from him because he is not the same religion. And now the war is starting. Okay. So it's 3. Eight versus 16,000, so that shouldn't go well for him. Lord Montfred of Driftmark died under suspicious circumstances, probably murdered. His child's now taken, uh, play, like, uh, taken Driftmark, who is our cousin. Okay, um, he is, what in line? Well, I'm trying to see where we are in line, actually. John Ald, we're probably not in line very easily. So, okay, I actually need to care about this one, because we are somewhere in line, so it goes... Um, Melee's, who's his brother. Then it goes Dantis, um, who is Dagon's, um, son. Well, oh, no, it goes Dagon, Dantis. Quentin, so that's Dantis' son. Lucos. Duncan. Then it would go Malus. I think it's, it skips Dana. It'd go Malus, Quintilian. Um, Bernard... Then back to Dana. Then to us. So we're like 8th in line. Maybe. Can we press our mother's claim on that? We could. Um, we don't quite have enough men. And we would have to declare against Stannis. So that wouldn't go too well. But no, there are options. There are options there. <laughs> Jane Tyrell died because of a bad case of the flu. She had one child who is now a Melcom. And that's the house that she took because she's a bastard child. And then uh, matrilineally married Uthor. Okay. Isarella Baratheon is now known as the Strong Stag. She's married to Horus Redwine. They have one child. Lord Paramount Renly of the Stormlands has declared the Stormlander War for Dana's claim on Driftmark. Oh, wow. So, Lord Renly, or, like Renly Baratheon, declared against Dannis for our mother's claim. That is actually fantastic, because if he succeeds, that means that if our mother dies, then we would be in line to Driftmark. We, we're actually directly in line to Driftmark. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. And she's too old to have any more children. And Renly is so much stronger than Stannis. Wow. I'm, I'm very interested to see how this goes, actually. This could go very well for us. There's not much that we can do, but it would go very well for us. Okay, so... Renly's gathered together all the men. I'd actually like to see the armies rise up for ourselves, but we can't really do that. Um, Thomas Lannister, um, after all of his stuff um, being a wildling, was actually beheaded um, by the person that he lost the war to. Kind of makes sense. Uh, unfortunate end for him. Oh, right. He was imprisoned again by him. So he's like, go, then imprisoned. Is there an epidemic near our court? Um, there's the Great Plague across the sea. Oh, it's because it reached there. I don't care. Okay. I'm interested in seeing this. Um, Toby the second of Giant's Lance has inherited the High Lordship of the Giant's Lance and other titles from Brian Blackfish. That is Toby Tully has taken Giant's Lance. 
He was Brian Blackfish's... Oh. Oh, he just died a natural death. Oh, okay. So he's still in the war against... Uh, of tyranny against Rotgar. Okay. Interesting. He's also in the war of tyranny against uh, King Robert. No, that's... Uh, oh, that's not on his side. That's... Okay, that's because everyone is. Okay. Interesting. Um, that's a death sound. Tala Birch was burnt alive as an offering to Relore by Lord Lauren of Lannisport. Okay. Cool. Cool. There are a lot of deaths every time I unpause. As he died under suspicious circumstances, he's married to uh, Zan Marius. Um, oh, so that was Zan Targaryen. Alright, so this is the continuing story of Zan Targaryen, who went to become a faceless man, decided he didn't want to, went into Bravos, became a... It's still the spymaster of Bravos, then married this person. Okay. Cool. Um, the war against Robert lost. Not surprising. I'm just waiting to see how the war... Renly's war goes down here. Could go very well for us. Lord Dickon of the uh, Arbors inherited the High Lordship of the Arbor and other titles from Paxter the Unchaste. So, Paxter um, Redwine died, Dickon uh, Redwine took over, and uh, he's a follower of Relore. Great! Fantastic. Uh, there was another one that appeared here, wasn't it? Oh, same person. Okay, pretty much. Um, Toby Tully is calling a whole bunch of favors because, well, he's currently being attacked. And I needs to. Um, right. Dickon Redwine took over being master of Mermaid's Palace, so he... Um, Revoked land from the gold wines. Okay, so he's trying to consolidate his land underneath, real, like make it all real lore following. Seems good. Joleth Malister was hanged on the orders of Lord Paramount Rockgirt of the Vale. Uh, she was married to uh, Toby Tully. Makes sense. So probably caught her during the war. Okay. War. Oh, Renly's people have already reached Driftmark. Uh, that's not Driftmark, that's Dragonstone. And they're sieging it. Cool. Cool. Um, favors are being returned. Okay. Lots more favors being returned. It was this one I was looking at. Toby is going to marry a piper. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so it seems like these pictures aren't correct ever. Like, pretty much ever. But the writing seems to be correct. Okay. So that means he should have an alliance with the pipers if she's anywhere near. But she's actually not. She's very, very far away. So, unlikely he'll get an alliance. Toby accepted the peace offer. And now we get to see what happens to him. Lord Paramount Eddard the Honourables to the Northman War to restore the Night's Watch. Wait. Night's Watch is restored. On Lord Commander Brian of the Night's Watch? Restore the Night's Watch. Wait. What? The Night's Watch seems fine, right? Or my... What is this war? Um, it just... It, oh, maybe there's a war... Maybe they've taken some land that should be the Night's Watch? Doesn't look like they've taken any land like that. Um, I don't know what this war is. Maybe there's an event chain that happened there? Hmm, I don't know. Interesting, though. Layla Whitehead died under suspicious circumstances. Probably murdered. She's in our court. Well, she was... Uh, wait, was she in our court? Yeah, yeah, she was in our court. Okay. Uh, what was confusing me was this. The no government tag, but that's kind of weird. Okay, doesn't really matter. Oh, Stannis has got his men down here to Rainhouse. He's actually doing a relatively good ba uh, like strategy. Uh, like, trying to get some places he can actually siege. However, um, he should be trying to siege Storm's End, ideally. Um, Dragonstone is going to fall fairly soon, though. I think. Um, it looks like it's already... like They've mostly got through the loot bar, which is generally my indication that they've got pretty far in a siege. Because um, you're usually fairly far through a siege when you're raiding. If you raid at all. And you have enough men. Roderick uh, Softrian? What? Well, that's kind of an interesting... That's, that's, oh, Soft Iron. Ah, okay. I was going to say that's an interesting name. But now I look at it a little bit closer. It's not that interesting. Um, brother of... Uh, someone? Cousin of Roderick, I think. As well. Something like that. Not Roderick. Of uh, Godric. Okay. Lesson was hanged on the orders of Lord Parent Rocker of the Vale. Probably just in the war against them. We have claims we could press for Eon Redmoon. Not going to do that right now. Uh, Lord Parent Hoster the Tormentor declared Riverman War for Giant's Lances. Okay. Lord Hoster the Tormentor declared the Riverman War on the Giant's Lance War 
on the Giant's Lance War. Oh, the Rivermen's claim on the Giant's Lance War. Ah, okay. On Lord Paramount Rock, Grove of the Vale. Took me a couple readings, but I now understand. So he's got a claim on the Giant's Lance because his brother died, giving him the claim, which he is now pressed on the Vale. Okay. Um, but it's still underneath Toby Tully currently, right? Uh, which would be his brother. Yeah. Okay. Weird. That giant's lance is a huge uh, point there. Cathayan has been a leal and able servant, having successfully completed many tasks in the aid of Weeping Town. Despite the nature of these services being questionable, he expects reward for his loyalty. Well, he did convert, so you know what? He did convert a whole bunch of people. Let's give him a favor. See what he does with it. Um, okay. So, they, yep, they are sieging the Night's Watch. Not really sure what's going on up there, but keep going. Um, who's this? Gawain was slain by John For Forrester in personal combat. Oh, okay. So he's just off dueling people. That's yeah, something to do. Um, Zoltha Zo appears to have gone to, um, Osha Crowles. So the person he married, Land. So she is up somewhere. Where is she? She's in deep down. Alright, so she's up there. Interesting. Uh, Lord Lauren of Lannisport has inherited the city of Lannisport from Lord Commander Timon of Lannisport. Or Timon? Or Timion? I don't know. However you want to do it. However you want to say it. Uh, Bifords are being released from prison. Um, Septim Timoth has declared the Faith of the Seven revolt against King Robert the Faithless. Um, okay, so this is interesting. Um, I guess it's just because enough of his land is turning to a lore. The Faith of the Seven are, like, declaring, saying he's not doing what he should be doing. Also, he's called the Faithless. So, presumably, he's done things that are against the Faith. He has some sins. Yeah, he's also some negative health things here. He could probably die fairly soon. Um, which would mean that Joffrey would take, uh, the throne. Very interesting. What's this? Joffrey has a sympathy for Eastern. Hmm. Interesting. So that means he'd have a sympathy for R'hllor. That's a very interesting uh, set of events that could happen there. Okay, Dragonstone. Very, very close to being sieged. A holy man uh, came to our court today to talk about the matters of the faith. It soon became clear he held rather unorthodox views. Being a zealous defender of the faith at all times, I believe I did the right thing when I gave the order to imprison the blasphemous heretic who dared criticize my faith. Um... Wait, Lady... Th oh, that's our wife reacts. Okay, because she is Faith the Seven. For the Holy Fire. I was shaking with rage at the heretic's blasphemous words when Lady Louise took the opportunity to whisper, Good work, in my ear. Really? She proves that I'm zealous, even though I'm zealous of a different religion. Um... Weird? Very weird? Okay. Whatever. Um... Who died? Lord Paramount Renly of the Stormlands died of severe stress... That now means that uh, Lady Paramount Aline of the Stormlands is in charge. She's married to Sir Edric Storm. Okay. And she's still she's still pressing the claim, so that's all I really care about there. Okay. Cool. Cool. Lots of people being released from prison. Oh, who was that who died? That was Eamon Dane died of poor health. He was married to Ilaria Sand. Is that... I was going to want a this different Ilaria Sand. So this is an Uller. Okay. And, they, and he has one daughter... Eleanor Dane, who is matrilineally married to Morrigan, who is actually in our in the Stormlands. Cool. Right. Uh, Lord Quiro of uh, Green Lance has served the Lordship of Luro from T Tristane Lenar. Okay. Um, I guess it's just because he's a Relore follower in Mir. Maybe that affects something. Uh, Dick and Redwine has become Master of the Arbor. Okay. Uh, he took some more land underneath him, I think. That's what that's getting at. Lord William of Last River has founded the Liege Loyalist faction, so he's loyal to Lord Heward. An opportunity has presented itself to let everyone remind an opportunity has presented itself to let to you to let everyone be reminded of the king's rule. So I was reading ahead and I got a bit confused because we're not the king, but I get the point. There's a skilled mentor that you can hire to mint out new coins for the realm with the portrait of King Oh wait. Or maybe it's so we can... Never mind. Okay, so I understand this now. Ah, okay, so as well as an inscription commemorating yourself. Okay, is it, 
This event used to be different, I think. Or maybe I've never seen it as being a vassal. So that's interesting. So we can either lose 100 gold for 100 prestige. We can get the gold, get the prestige if we debase the mint. And that gets us greedy. We can say there's no need for additional currencies. We are ruthless. We need money. So we're debasing those metals. Definitely. Um, okay. Invite to plot. We would like to see Daenerys dead. You're married to her. I No. Uh, Iron Throne Embargo War ended. Okay. And now we need to get someone to marry... Not marry. To educate our sister. Um, she seems to be... Kind of neutral across the board. I think our mother is fine. Uh, our mother is kind of into intrigue. So she can be educated in intrigue. Kind of makes sense. There we go. Uh, intrigue education. Cool. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.